Today, we're going to be talking about narcissistic gang stalking. So look, this is a reality for people, but there's a lot of debate surrounding the topic of narcissistic gang stalking. Some people believe it's real and some people are skeptical. But the truth is that narcissistic gang stalking, it is very real, okay? And it's frightening. And that's what they mean it to be. So you ask, what is it? Well, it is a coordinated attack of a group of people against one individual usually. And the intent is to control, intimidate, or to instill fear. So most people think of stalking as one-on-one -on -one crime committed by one individual against another. Uh, but there's another more insidious form of stalking that is happening more and more often, and that's narcissistic gang stalking. The attackers are often people who have been manipulated or coerced by a narcissistic leader into taking part in gang stalking. They send their little flying monkeys out and sometimes will pay them for it. Oftentimes will pay them for it. And these people are just followers. They're the flying monkeys. So it's often done in a very covert, underhanded way. So it makes it hard to detect uh, and defend against because you can't, you, you see the cars, you see people, but you, you can't prove it necessarily. So the sad fact is that people in our world, mainly narcissists, uh, take pleasure in stalking, controlling, and terrorizing others. They are some of the most dangerous people in the world. They actually enjoy being the devil in your life. So look, if you are being targeted by one of these narcissistic gang stalkers, it's important to know what you are up against. If you are a victim, you may feel like you're going crazy, but let me tell you, you are absolutely not. They wanna make you feel like you're going crazy. Mm -hmm, but they're the ones, you know, they're the ones. So look, it's a real phenomenon. It's happening to more and more people every day. Uh, they wanna control their targets, their victims. They wanna make them feel afraid and they want them completely under their thumb. They will go to great lengths, mm -hmm, great lengths, to be sure that their victims are always within their sight. Yeah, some of them will install cameras in your home, listening devices too, if they have access to it. They will do anything to know what's going on in your life and to keep you from leaving. Yeah, they wanna control every aspect of your life. Incredible. So look, some of the reasons for this organized stalking well, they want to make the victims feel so worried, so depressed, so scared, they might unalive themselves. Yeah, they're looking for that. Yeah, so they don't have to do the deed. So they want the target to suffer and they want them to think they did something wrong. Yeah, make them feel like they did something to make this happen. So they just simply might want to ruin the target's life, you know, making them feel scared and needy, um, like they're going crazy. They might want to unalive the target by indirect means like suicide or hiring a contract killer uh, to assassinate them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might want to leech off their target. Um, you know, they stalk specific people. You know, they do that to gain money. There are a lot of scam artists involved in this. So they also may have a hidden agenda and why they want to harass the target. And they want the person to become antisocial so that they're not a threat. Yeah. So look, these organized stalkers want to target individuals who suffer torment or depression, you know, because they'll be more easily, um, you know, get them more easy to get them into depression. So if you're a target, you may want to get law enforcement involved or the legal system. You know, some people will worry about law enforcement getting involved that, you know, if you do get them involved, that the perpetrator will become more aggressive. Uh, but you need to examine from all angles, you know, whether law enforcement will be good or whether it'll be bad, because the reality is uh, you can't always trust all people in law enforcement. I'm going to say a majority of them are good and doing good things. However, you have to be careful because some of these gang stalking groups hire corrupt officers who are part of the gang stalking and the harassment. For example, they might uh, employ them to pull you over to specifically harass and terrorize you or even something more nefarious. Yeah. So look, you gotta protect yourself. You might wanna give a photograph of the suspect to your neighbors or to your loved ones so that they can identify that person if need be. You might wanna install cameras with video around your house if you live in a home. You might wanna give pictures and video of the cars to give to the police or to someone, your neighbors, your family, it, only if you feel safe enough to do that. Don't put yourself in danger. So if you're being targeted by a narcissist, it is important for you to get help from a professional. There's lots of information about narcissistic gang stalking, and it can be really overwhelming to go through this information. So a professional can help you sort through this information and develop a plan to protect yourself. If you're in danger, you need to get help. 
Now, the, one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this topic is because I have been gang stalked for a number of months. Uh, I believe I'm still getting gang stalked. Uh, I've just kind of gotten used to it, you know. <laughs> I, it, it's just part of my daily life at this point. But I wanted people to know you are not crazy. There are oftentimes people watching you for their own reasons. And if it's narcissists, they are wanting to control and manipulate you. They want information about you so they know how to control and manipulate you. Um, it's, a, it's an awful phenomenon that people are actually doing. These people have mental health problems. They need help. They need to heal whatever it is that they're dealing with that makes them want to target victims. Um, so my recommendation to you is to try to stay, stay as safe as possible. Uh, get the help that you need. You know, get information to your neighbors so that they know what's going on. Uh, reach out. Reach out to get help. I know it's difficult because you can't always prove it, but if you can't get help from outside people, do talk to a professional, a counselor, and how to deal with it. So if you want more information about narcissistic personality disorder or stalking, um, please stay tuned to The Real Deal on MPD with Myra.